Paul Maron, a, a striker who came to fame really at Ipswich, we should say, is really where he picked, that's where he made his England debut, having mm. done so well for, for Ipswich and won the FA Cup, won the UEFA Cup with them as well, inducted into their Hall of Fame. Um, really, really sad news to be bringing everyone Yes, and um, I'm thinking of also Alan Brazil, who obviously played, played alongside him yeah. and you know knew him really well. And they had a really great side. I mean, I was a teenager when uh, Ipswich were a side that were a team to be feared and Paul played a big part in that team because he was the centre forward. He was the sort of forward I sort of try to envisage. I could try and get to that level of leading the line, you know, very strong aerially, dominant, a great partnership. People like Eric Gates, you know, have done brilliant alongside him, Alan, Alan himself. I remember watching him at Arsenal because he had a big move to Arsenal. Mm. Um, you know, yeah. was an Arsenal player for a while. So, yeah, and... Ended up going to coach abroad in America. I was going to say, yeah, done, so done a, lot, spent a lot of time in America. Yeah, yeah he spent done a lot. I, I never met him personally, but he was the type of striker that I admired growing up because people like Bob Blatchford, uh, you know, the younger viewers or uh, listeners wouldn't know. Uh, uh, certainly, you know, I, I would think of Frank Worthington, who's no longer with us, and Paul Mariner. He was in that mode of how he could lead a line and did it brilliantly. And, and by the way, had a really good scoring rate, especially, I mean, he started at lower league as well. So, you know, always have a uh, sort of affiliation with somebody who played lower league football like I did um, for, for, for Gillingham. He played for Plymouth. Plymouth yeah, you know, he started absolutely. his career there. So, yeah, he, he was a top striker, ended up, like I said, get, you get 35 uh, caps for England, you're a top player. Alan said there as a perfect centre forward, but as a as a man, as a human being, he was a genuine person and genuine human being. And he was a massive part of my football childhood because I grew up in Great Cornard in Sudbury in Suffolk, and that's just up the road from Ipswich. So Ipswich was a team that I used to go and watch. I'd be a massive gooner, but I couldn't get in obviously to London. I was playing school football on a, a mm. Saturday morning, couldn't I? And Ipswich at that time were like demigods, the mid seventies to eighties. They had one hell of if you look back, they take like um Murin and Tyson came. Paul Mariner was uh, playing up front. Alan Brazil, obviously, playing with him. Alan Hunter, Kevin Beatty. So I used to go as like a 11, 12, 13-year-old kid. And, and that was like going to see gods. And I remember <laughs> going to Portman Road, seeing him smash Man United 6-0. I was in the Churchman stand. They were playing against my team in 1978 and beat Arsenal 1-0. Maris, Paul Mariner was man in a match in, mm -hmm. in that game. And he was just... Um, it's not until you look back, and I was very shy, I didn't know till this morning, you know, and you just think, that's part of my... My, my childhood, you know, mm. my like a, a, a footballing demigod. And then you look back and you think, wow, he was some player. Because as Alan Brazil said there, he was in the old days it was 4 4 2, two up front. He was the centre forward just to hold it up, back in, brilliant feet, great touch, excellent uh, in the air. And um, I was lucky enough to meet him a few times because he used to come to La Road when I played for Colchester on a Friday night. Um, and his good friend Jonathan Chris used to bring him to games. And uh, he just said he told Ipswich to buy Tony Adcock and myself from Coach United. He, I didn't really know him. He went, you know, that deep voice that he's got there, right? So, all right, all right. He said, <laughs> said uh, Tony Ipswich. I went, oh, and I'm like, wow, Paul Mariner. Yeah. And then it took me back. Ipswich won the FA Cup in 78. They took it to Sudbury Town, my local town. And you, you go and see the FA Cup. And as a kid, Benton says, the FA Cup, oh, my God. And, yeah. and I run on the pitch. And I got Paul Mariner's autograph, Kevin Beatty's autograph, Roger Osborne's autograph. And Paul Mariner, I had... Ginger ale, like a tough ginger ale. and you know when someone just goes, "You're right, son," and just like mm -hmm. taps you on the head, but he just had time for everybody, yeah. and just a real, real nice geezer, genuine geezer, and a lot better player. When you look back, then you think, "Wow, he could play. He was a top player." Yeah.